All right, so here's your challenge to build a box that will hold items in your Lego AV3 box. The rules are that the brick has to be the bottom of your box. Your challenge is that you're going to be using a touch sensor that will open up the door and close the door using motors, whatever type of system that you have. The other challenges are within the brick to have images and color work. So when I run my program, you'll see the colors light up and an image appear. We see the teeth, we see the red lights blinking. And as soon as I push the button, it should open. It changes color in a new image, and then it closes, and then we got some noises there at the end. So there's your challenge. Now I have your mind in a way that you should not be able to copy because I use some pieces that are not Lego, only so you don't copy this idea. Best of luck. Let's see what you can do. All right guys, so you just saw the motorized box that I created. Um, and what I'm gonna do is just walk you through my programming um, as a guide to kind of give you a, a basic tutorial on how to do some just simple programming in the hopes that you can grasp on quickly and you can create and design your own box with your own code to do some really amazing things. So this is not necessarily an answer key, it's more of a guide just to kind of help you move to the place that you wanna to get to. So um, let's take a look at this and uh, see what we can do here. So this is the, the main interface um, of, of the programming language as, as many of you know, and if not, this is a, a GUI interface, a graphic user interface where we're using blocks to do our programming as opposed to line code. And so one of the things that we want to do is we want to be able to add lights to the brick. We want to be able to add images. We will be able to use a touch button to push the button to allow the motors to turn on um, to open and close uh, the box. So what I've done is I've dragged in the green section here, these are all action blocks, and I'm gonna grab this brick status light block here. And what I can do is I can adjust what color I want it to look. So in the case of mine, I chose red and I want it to be on. You could choose it to be off, you need to reset the lights, whatever it is that you desire. So you can get it blinking on and off and put it in loops and things like that. Uh, but for now, we're just gonna keep it red. Um, the next thing I wanna do is I wanna add an image. And so if you go back and remember, I went through and I had a mouth that was shut, showing the teeth that it, the mouth was closed. And so what you do here um, is you go up into this file name and Lego already provides a lot of image files. And so you can see all these different types of objects in here and you can play around there and see what's in there. Um, I just went under expressions and I chose mouth one shut and you can see the image there. And there's tons of different blocks within here. Um, you can actually go through and create your own which I'll, I'll show you here in a minute if you're interested in designing that. And then what I did is I went over here. So now what this does is this turns the brick light to red and shows the image of the mouth shut. Um, I'm going to go here into the orange section now and I'm going to put in a weight block. So this is going to happen as soon as I run my program, red, mouth shut. And here, I'm going to go down here to the touch sensor. You can see that we can wait for all sorts of different triggers. Basically, the program stops at this point and is waiting for whatever you tell it to um, to be activated. In our case, we want a touch sensor and we're actually going to compare the state of the touch sensor. And so I have my sensor plugged into port three, so that's good already. And I'm just gonna look down here, this, you get, and you get choices of zero, one, or two. Zero means it's gonna be released, where you actually push the button all the way, and then you let go, and when it's released, it's gonna trigger. Number one is just as soon as it's pressed, and two is bumped, meaning if it's just tapped at all, it'll take off. And so I've just chosen one to make sure that it reads that I push it all the way in. And when that happens, what I've done then is I've gone back here, and as soon as that touch sensor is pushed, I've changed the light to green. I went through and I changed the mouth to actually to be open as if it's ready to eat was my whole intent with this, so now the mouth is open. And then I activated my motors. I have two motors on my brick, um, and so I want, this is a tank, meaning they're gonna move them at the same time. 
and I just moved it slow. So these numbers here are your is your speed of the motors, the power, so to speak. And so I just moved them to, to 20. So it's not too fast, not too crazy. And I've already done some pre-measurements, but this is rotations. How many times the motor is going to spin? You know, one complete cycle is one rotation. And for me, it was 0.6. It's a little over a half rotation. You're going to have to kind of guide that depending on your base, how you build and design. But you can change this. Um, if you don't want rotations, you can do seconds or you can do degrees, depending on what you want to do. So as it's doing that, what I also wanted it to do is I have a pause here of two seconds. And so once the motors move a half second or for 0.6 of a rotation, um, I have it just stopping and not doing anything uh, for two seconds. And then I basically just use this block again. So I'm just going to copy and paste it. But as opposed to doing the same thing, I want it to go backwards. I want it to close the hatch. And so I'm going to go at negative speed this time, and I'm going to go there. Um, and just to be safe, I know that sometimes the way I've built mine, it needs a little extra oomph to get all the way close. So I made that 0.7. And then just because I wanted to add more, I moved this light back to orange. And then because now he has technically consumed his food, um, I move this to the big smile expression. So now, you know, he's he's had his food and he's eaten. Um, and then if you want, this is not a requirement, it's not even on the rubric, but just because it's fun, you can add sound. And so if I add this sound block here, oops, went there on the end here. Um, Lego has a lot of sound files. You can actually import your own. They have to be very small, um, but I can go down here. Um, actually, I don't want animals. I want communication. Actually, I don't. Maybe it is under expressions. There it is. And I want crunching as if he was eating. And then once I have that done, this is my, my program for me. You don't have to copy all of this. You have to make it unique to you and I'll have to hit the guidelines and rubric. Then I just go down here and I download it and then I can run my program on my on my robot. Uh, most important thing is the saving of the file. Because remember we talked about it, we want it to be called picture box. So I'm just gonna go up here and save my project. Just so you can get an idea of how to save so you can keep your files organized. Um, I'm just going to call this Camp 2017. This is uh, the whole entire folder. Um, I'm going to hit Save here, and it's going to change project. And then down here with Program, I'm just going to double click, and now I can call this Picture Box. And it's going to help things be organized on my robot. Now I'm going to download, and we are good to go. So I hope that's helpful. A couple things that I wanted to just add here to you guys. If you want, you can create your own image. If you go up here to Tools, and uh, you can't see it. Actually, I think I have a cutoff here in the, in the software. But you go up where it says Legos Mindstorm DV3. There's File, Edit, Tools. You go to Tools, and you go to Image Editor. You can design and create your own image. So those of you that are really crafty, you can make your own image and install that on your robot as well. So you just save it. I'm going to close this, and I could actually just go here, um, and I could add face, and there it is. Right, so that would actually now show on my robot. All right, guys, it's time to get building. It's time to get rocking and rolling. I hope you found this helpful. Leave any comments, and if you make a motorized box, please, please, please. If you're in camp, obviously you're going to show me, but if you're someone outside of camp making this, let me know. Let me. I want to see what you've come up with. I want to see your designs. I would love to see your code because that's just as important. All right, guys. Stay awesome.